name is Mahmoud Amin. I am uh, vice president of engineering project. Uh, I look after all the new projects related to the aircraft, the specifications and the delivery, including Airbus and Boeing side. Today is the third day since the aircraft is here. The first day we did a lot of trial on the ground equipment, uh, a lot of uh, demonstration on the electronic tech log, uh, cabin log, and, uh, and yesterday uh, a lot of trial on the catering equipment and the ground equipment and uh, a lot of maintenance uh, tasks we carried out. Uh, and both days were very fruitful, very successful, and everything went on plan. The purpose was uh, uh, essentially to check the uh, airline readiness for before the entry into service of the F-380. There was a specificity here in Dubai because we took the opportunity uh, of the hot weather conditions to perform a hot weather uh, campaign specifically for the cabin systems. The main purpose of the exercise were to, uh, to check if Emirates is uh, ready to operate the aircraft uh, as a normal, uh, as a usual operation every day. And uh, on that uh, uh, subject, uh, we are really confident. And we, we have to say that uh, uh, we were, when we arrived here, we were really impressed by the uh, efficiency and the organization of uh, this airline. The opportunity that we've had with having the A380 here in Dubai for six days has been considerable. It has allowed us to check ground uh, services, it has allowed us to become involved with the Airbus experts who are here to learn and to fine-tune a number of the uh, procedures and processes that we had already adopted and applied. It has allowed us to, um, to try and test a number of equipment which we have uh, already procured in support of the aircraft. We started planning um, about six weeks ago for these flights, bearing in mind that the flights were operating during a normal operation at Dubai Airport when it's very busy. Lots of flights coming in and out, um, very high passenger loads, so we had to do some detailed planning to make sure that the A380 fitted into that plan without disrupting our normal operation. The staff gained a lot of knowledge from the sheer size of the aircraft and how long it takes to perform the various ground handling functions, especially boarding and disembarking the passengers. But overall, they now know that the aircraft is real and they can anticipate what they need to do when the aircraft enters service with Emirates.